little difficulty with the start of the show yesterday, so we're redoing it, and this is Cafe Moto's Revival. Enjoy. Hey everyone, this is Mark, and man, I had a great time over at Hogwaller in Palaka. Thanks to old Daryl Jackson, a good friend of mine, he turned me on to this place, told me about the event going on, and uh, let me give you a little information. So Hogwaller sits on about 1,100 acres. The property is 2.5 miles long, and I mean, look at these guys go here. This was such a good time I had over here. Just a minute, you're going to see how big these things really are. They're noisy. It was just a great, great time. Look at this guy. It is pretty dang fun over here. This is Hogwaller in Palaka. And look at this truck here. Just a minute, we're going to do an interview with the guy in this truck. Wait till you see how clean the truck is when we do the interview. So this Hogwaller in Palaka. It sits on the old Rodman Sawmill property. Let's sit back, listen to Dale Spikes talk about his truck for a little while. Hey, this is Mark with Cycle Fever TV. I'm out here at the Hogwaller, and I got one of the drivers here. If you can, give me your name and tell me a little bit about what you're driving today. Yeah, my name is Keith Spike. I drive this badass truck on Hammerhead. Uh, it's an 82 box shed with a 540 blower motor in it. My 64 machine is speed out of, out of Winter Garden. GMG Electric, we got Steve Gersher axles. 
American Force wheels to come out here to kick some butt, man. How many years you been driving? I've been driving about seven years now. And how many times you been over here at the Hogwaller? Uh, the last seven years. Best show out there. Uh, uh, that's what they say. It's the best show going. Yes, sir. Real deal. Okay, I want to give a big thanks to everybody that talked to me today. Everybody was great. And this place is awesome. They got campsites, RV, full hookups. At the end of the day, after these guys get through racing their big trucks, they let everybody drive their vehicles out there in the mud pit. So let's check out this mud pit. Let me tell you a little bit about it. The mud pit is about six acres total. It is a 10 foot below for safety reasons. They got wire, two gates, you know, wire wrapped all the way around the pit. This here is the drivers just before they get ready to go out. They're going to run this thing. Wait till you see these trucks. I'm going to shut up and just let you guys enjoy this for a little while. This is some cool drone yeah, footage, huh? Did you see that pit field they had out there, that mud field? Mark, Mark was a, having a blast. Big as a football field. I mean, it was fun. It looked like fun. Yeah, no, it, it, listen, that looked like a blast. Some of those trucks, I could probably walk on. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. Especially it, that, that, that plow boy. Plow boy. Oh, oh man, they were cool, It'd be man. just my luck I hit my head on the muffler. <laughs> And that'd be dead boy. But Plow boy and dead boy. Those wheels were gigantic. No, Mark, too bad Mark couldn't make it today because he was talking about that thing for like a couple weeks. How, how, what a blast he had. The mud they were kicking up, the drone footage was, I, you know, yeah, I've never, I've never seen it from that angle. And watching it those pretty trucks. good speed in that mud. Yeah, no, it was, it was really good. So, it, so from here, you know, we go over there to Volusia Motorsports. They let us take out their slingshots, right? Yeah. You know we like to have fun. We've ridden a few slingshots. Dad's officially lost one of our AE Magic Cams on one of those slingshots. He's probably gonna put the camera on himself now and say, "Yeah, he's trying. <laughs> he's trying to blame me." There he is. There That's he is. right. He's he, trying he, to blame he, me. He is. But it, but it, it was him. So hey, wave. You gotta wave. All right, there you go. All right, so with the slingshots, and we have a great time with those, but you know what? We have a buddy, Tex. You know Tex, he does all the lighting? Yeah. All right, top tier. Well, he did some lighting on a slingshot. Okay. It's, now, he, yeah, when I say lighting, I don't mean just any old lighting. I mean, this stuff is awesome. I mean, this stuff changes to the beat, to different music, different colors, different sides, front and back. So we're gonna take a look all at something it. he did. All over the place. This would be good on your bike, Gil. Yeah, absolutely. And then people would see you fly by. My victory. <laughs> That's what I ride. All right, Dad, why don't you show what uh, Tex did with the slingshot.
What's up? Hey, we're back. Dad, Sam, we're back. Tex. Yeah, we're back. We're back. What is <laughs> uh, up, everybody? All right, guys, we're here with Tex. Tex is the one that did that awesome lighting on a slingshot. He's also done the lighting on Dad's bike. Yep. And everybody we run into and, out here. And uh, just actually just did a Batmobile. A Batmobile. A Batmobile. Uh, the uh, the tumbler from the Dark Knight trilogy. Yeah. Uh, I did a replica. I did a lot of lighting on it, so it actually uh, came out pretty good. What show was that for? Uh, it's a private owner. Private owner. Oh wow. Yeah. So um, and he's he's actually selling it too. Five hundred seventy-five thousand. So five hundred seventy-five thousand. Five hundred seventy-five thousand. And that's. <laughs> yeah. How much without the lights? Uh, five hundred seventy-five thousand. Oh, all right. Yep. Just check it. Yep, yep. <laughs> I already got paid for it, so it's uh, that's all it counts. How long did it take to? Um, it took me um, on the Batmobile. It took me about two days to do everything on it. So, um, and that, that slingshot that we just saw, that one, that actually belongs to an NFL NFL player, uh, really? Corey Corey Graham. Um, he was playing for the Buffalo Bills. I don't know. I don't know if he's still playing for them or not. Uh, wow. But um, yeah, that his slingshot. It took me about maybe five, six hours to do everything on it. Five so, or six hours. That's yeah, cool. yeah, by myself. I would have yeah. thought it'd be longer than that. Oh no, no, I'm, I'm real. I mean, with, when you do lights every single day yeah. on all kinds of, I mean, you get real quick at it. So it's on like standard motorcycles takes me about an hour. So about how many lights were on that slingshot? Um, I did a total. Let's see, I did four halos and I did a total of uh, two um, kits. So there was a uh, sixteen. Uh, two foot tubes all, all over it. So the halos, the big ones underneath? Uh, no, no, no. The halos were the round circles around the headlight. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And, then, right. and then I did, uh, and then I did uh, uh, all the other tubes and stuff. I did all underneath it and uh, on the interior of it. So, what do you got? how many uh, switch connections do you have on those things? Um, with that one, you can have up to, with that kit, uh, it's a sequential system. That one, you can have up to 30 feet, I believe. Yeah, so you can you can have a lot of it, you know, and it's and it's designed that you can actually have it on the out, outside of a building too. It's a really high grade quality wow. um, LED uh, tubes, you know, that you can mount, you know, weatherproof and whatnot. So and they, they work with the ignition when you put it on. Uh... Yeah, it's a, it runs on the remote, so you can turn them on and off. Oh, okay. Yeah, by the remote. Yeah. All right, so yeah. All right, well, I gotta ask you this because when Dad flipped over started running the footage then I heard a oh crap from back there yeah and then I heard him say this isn't our music yeah that was uh that was this that that video was my video that I made uh, ah. so it was a it was a, uh, a, re a remix to a rap song and uh, yeah I guess it's uh, had a few extra cuss words because out here we is can't, anticipating we can't hear the music out here so we don't know what was being played but I can tell by the way dad was moving back there <laughs> that someone didn't edit something yeah <laughs> well, Tex, what's the name of your company by the way uh, Top tier customs, top tier customs. Yep. So I do uh, motorcycle customizing and then LED lighting for cars, boats, businesses. Um, actually, speaking of businesses, um, I just redid all the lighting at uh, Rachel's nightclub in Kesselberry. So all for their bars and everything. We'll so have to go check that, that one out was, uh, just for yeah. the lighting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just for the lighting. We'll just go to check the lighting, out. right, Dad? <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, but yeah, actually, um, I just uh, moved into a new shop. So uh, no more working out of my house. Um, you know, since my last time I was on the show, I was. Yep. Uh, uh, it was from my, my after I recovered from my motorcycle wreck, um, but uh, I'm now in a shop now. I'm over off of Forsyth, uh, just between uh, right, right, literally right between Colonial and um, um, University. What's the address? So, uh, 2720 uh, Forsyth Road, uh, Unit 312. 2720 Forsyth Road, Unit, unit 312. 312. All right, over in Park. So, so now how about uh, Facebook, Instagram? Yeah, uh, you know, top tier customs, top tier customs, top tier customs, pretty much everything. All right. Website toptiercustoms.com, Facebook.com. Slash Top Tier Customs and Instagram is at Top Tier Customs. What, well, that's gonna make it easy. Um, I've well, I've been around like that aftermarket field for like many, many years. My dad had a body shop uh, okay. when I was growing up, um, and I started kind of getting the aftermarket scene when I was about 15. Uh, right. back, back when Fast and, the first Fast and Furious movie came out, I was like, oh, that's cool, you know. And I was like, oh, lights on cars, you know. Yeah. So I started out with with doing neon lights on cars and stuff, and then um, and then I and before before I moved out here, I was actually uh, working for a shop. We were building race cars, and then then I moved out here. Motorcycle scene's a lot bigger here than it is yep. back home. Um, and uh, after I started working on, I'm like, oh, these are so much easier to work on than cars. So now I'm just motorcycles now. I don't really mess with cars anymore. It's That's just, funny. I mean, I know how to do cars. I just it's motorcycles just so much easier. Really? Yeah, See, it, so it, it easier. seemed to me like it'd be hard to get in places on a motorcycle, nah, but no, huh? Nah, nah, nah. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. We got cars in the back of That's good. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, when you when you're trying to change the spark plugs on a Corvette, it's yeah, it's it's a pain in the butt. <laughs> Big pain in the butt. Well, hang out for one second. Okay. Because here's what we had. 
Today it's th Thursday, so we're going to do a throwback Thursday. Okay. All right? So I believe, it's usually it's a surprise. Dad puts up whatever the hell he wants yeah. to put up there. We don't know. Yeah. But I think this was one of the Christmas rides. Dad, is this one of the Christmas rides? Yeah. Thumbs up. There you go. Thumbs up. All right. So we're going to do one of the Christmas rides. Tell Dad to go ahead and roll the footage. Dad, go ahead and roll the footage. on the Toys for Tots bike run. Is that right, Bill? Absolutely, and hey, I so got very... This is my old buddy right here, man. Santa I've known Claus. him since I was a kid. I'm the kid. I'm the guy that ruined his stocking. Oh no! no. So but I tell you what, even when I was a kid, I always thought Santa had the best looking sled in town, and this is no exception this year. Look at the sled. What, what do we have here, Santa? We got a 1948 Indian Chief. Talking about bikes and sleds, uh, your sled's leading the parade today. The I sled hear. is leading the parade, and we got the, the bears. What's the total length of the run, Santa? Uh, from here and back will be 140 miles. I'll tell you what, it's great weather for it. You don't have a well, this, is our, this is why we all live here. Oh, I, I believe okay. it. This is, this is our normal, everyday Keys weather. For all the folks that aren't in the North Pole and aren't here. Now, by the way, what's the difference in the weather temperature in the North Pole today versus where we are here in Key West? Well, probably about 80 degrees difference. So you like it right here, then? I love it here. I've been here 10 years, and there's uh, I got no reason to leave. And see Santa wasn't short when it came to helpers, as all the bikers brought along a little something to give to the children. Barbie, I have a, a big three-foot Barbie I had strapped in here, but I didn't have room for her with all these uh, toys. So. Looks like we got the person that's in charge, and who are we with? I'm Marty. Marty? Is this Marty? This is Les Nesman from WKRP. Oh, oh geez. Hey, Les, I know you look familiar. I'm doing great. <laughs> Les, can you tell us a little bit about your bike ride you have set up here? Well, we've been doing this for 16 years. We started this uh, chapter in 1984, and within a month of starting, uh, they decided to do this run, and it was a big success from the start. I've been here from the beginning, and uh, we seem to get three to 500 people here every year to do this to help the kids out of Monroe County. And what's a sleigh ride without reindeer? She does all the big rides, does Daytona, all that good stuff. Earned her patch this year. I rode mine. <laughs> so she rode all the way up to Daytona from Key West this year was. Got her own seat in the back. She does all the major runs. Guys, my name is Whistling Tom. I'm a member of the Southernmost A-Bait. That's American and Bikers aimed towards education. And we're having a Toys for Tots run today. Cycle Fever asked me to whistle the Cycle Fever theme song for them. And there ain't no other theme song that's right for Cycle Fever except three cheers for the red, white, and blue. back there that's for hey. sure hey Hank how come you were sitting around every time you go back to the throwback I see you and Bill just sitting around lounging you notice that huh yes. we got we got uh, whenever we do the throwback Thursdays we got Bill and uh, dad just kind of they're either eating <laughs> swimming just sitting around, right? Watching a woman? No, I didn't say that. No, I didn't say that. No, I didn't say that. So I don't know, but they're always surprising us with all these uh, throwbacks. We never know yeah. what they got going on. So hopefully everybody enjoyed that throwback Thursday. So what time? It's, 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 we got one more one more clip for everybody out here. Yes, yeah, uh, almost five hours. Oh, no. Uh, well, I'll tell them that when we get to the end of the show. <laughs> I don't know. Why wants to tell me? That's, Dad's back there barking orders, man. No background talking. Hey! 
Can you see this? I'll have to put this up in front of a monitor. So anyways, Okay, we're gonna go to the drag racing next. Drag racing, I love drag racing. Let's or maybe go. we won't, let's see what button he hits. Is that in the excitement behind us, but we're here at Drag Strip Riot over here at Orlando Speedway. It's mostly pre-72 race cars coming in here, showing off their stuff. Now, we were out a little earlier shooting some footage, and there are some really, really wild cars here. All right, well, sit back, relax. We're going to be streaming live here. We're going to do two segments. The first segment, this is the pre-run, so they're all just warming up and everything. And then we're going to come back on. So what you need to do is you need to go to uh, Cycle Fever TV YouTube and look for the Orlando Speedway. <laughs> All right. And then the other thing you can do is you can go to Cycle Fever TV Facebook and you can see what times we're going on and hopefully you'll enjoy it. There are some really, really neat cars here. If you get a chance, they're running here all day long. If you live in the Orlando area, come on down. I think you'll have a good time. A lot of neat cars, a lot of nice people. So stay with us. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Let's go back to the racetrack, John. All right. What do you think of the drags now? You said it's the first time here, right? Well, it's the first time here at Mythlo. I've been to other drag races. Okay, so what do you think? I love it. Stand you right by the starting line. This is pretty neat. I'll tell you what. This is great. By the way, John, I'm taking one with the wheelie bars on it. Hey, folks at home, I hope you're enjoying this. It's like I say, we're live streaming. This is the first time we've tried it here over at the drag strip. And... So there you go, my wheelie bar won. But anyhow, this is our first shot at uh, going live out of the truck in quite a while. And I hope everything's going good. John's in here doing a good job. Mark is out flying the drone somewhere, so you'll see some footage of the drone. And uh, they're going to be doing the, uh, the driver's meeting. Again, we're here at Orlando Speed World. It's uh, located at 1916-4 East Colonial Drive, Orlando, Florida. Now, let me tell you, if you're coming in from Orlando, it's quite a ways out, so just keep riding. Is the one for the speedway, and believe it or not, it got hit a little bit by the hurricane. So be, be aware when you get there. We're having pre 1972 front engine dragsters, funny cars, gassers, alters, and this is being presented to you by the Misfire um, Car Club. So come on out, take a look. They are going to run. I guess the car show is going to be judged at uh, two o'clock, and they're going to run until seven. 7 p.m. tonight, so come on down. And then the just point. like this, yeah, like this, like this, like, oh, 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 okay, now just, you go. Just in case anybody's wondering. Is that what you did doing homeschooling? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> just in case anybody's wondering why we look like a deer in the headlights, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, here, 
You know, we started this new segment that John came up with, and since John's not here to pick out a bike, Dad's behind the desk, and Gil and I are too lazy to chase people down too far. It was really easy for us to pick bike. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, here, let me just park next to the tent. All right, we're gonna use your bike. Oh, the, okay. The thing about biking tonight is it's something unique. It's it's a unique looking bike. It could be any kind of bike, right? But what we've got this time is we're gonna show you the lighting kit mm -hmm. on your bike. Yeah. So that's why it's bike of the night because it's really cool, the lights, the way it lights up and all. So dad, why don't you take a shot of the bike real quick? And he's gonna use his uh, cell phone too. Yeah. So there we go. Alright, so so this this is my new bike. I just bought it the other day. So I hadn't really had a chance to make it look too fancy. So but, now how do you change the lights on there? So everything is done through a Bluetooth app on the cell phone. So um, right now So I, right there on that yep, cell phone. Right Alright. Alright, so let's see what let's see what that bike does. Alright, so hey man, well that is very cool. So stick around because I want to talk okay. to you a little bit after that. That'll work. But right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say goodbye to everybody. You can just hang out with us here. We're gonna do our sponsors, Gil. Alright. Alright. I'll let you have the first one there, Gil. Oh, first one. What's oh, going yes. The Ace Cafe. What there else? You go. Absolutely. Don't forget to come out here Thursday nights for your motorcycle nights. And you know what? Check the calendar because every day of the week there's always something going on here. Right about that. It's bike night. I think Monday night's gonna be Porsche night. They've got they had truck night over the, the weekend. They got Mopar night. Anything you like, they'll probably have it here. So, nice so just check, just check. So yeah, the next one is J Myers Insurance. J Myers can handle all your insurance needs, no matter what you have, whether it's a bike, car, house, business. They can take care of all of it. What do you got, Gil? Uh, Michael Dorsey is the AAE Magic Cam. Right, the ones uh, you use on the bike. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, all right. All right. All right. And then USA Payroll. So we need to throw that one out there because somebody needs a sale. Who needs a sale? Yeah, right there. So he's saying give him a call for USA Payroll. All right? Whether it's one employee to a thousand employees, we give you a great price, great service to take care of you. So with that said, that is it. So, all right, man, do you know our slogan right here? No, but I'm sure I can read it. All right, Tex, I'm going to let you take us out right here. All right, you just point there. Ready? All right. Enjoy, enjoy the, the adventure and enjoy, enjoy the, the ride. ride. I, got a little, I got a little message. Okay, see if we can read that. Thanks a lot, John Mark Carley. Dad's driving me nuts. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a good one. Till next Thursday. All right, everybody, have a good one.